Hello everyone, I'm Deborah from Deborah Dell's Craft Room. Tonight I'm going to be painting a snowman on a big bottle board. I hope you enjoy the video. Okay, this is the gourd that we'll be using to uh, make the snowman. It's fat and short. So, what I did so far is I made the um, carrot nose out of Sculpey clay. I used sweet potato color. You can also use regular color Sculpey and paint it orange if you want to. Uh, you, you form it into a carrot shape and then I tipped the end up a little bit. I baked it in the oven for 15 minutes at 275 degrees. You have to make sure that your nose fits the gourd. I think this one's good. It's not too big, not too small. It's fat enough. So, but we're not going to glue it in now. We're going to glue it in later. What I've done to this gourd so far is I sprayed it with kills. That's a sealer stain blocker sealer but it's white and sprayed the whole thing with the white and then uh, coated it with one coat of snow white paint. I don't know what the face is going to look like. I've been suffering trying to figure out what what kind of eyes to put on it. So I'm going to do the, the, the body first. First I'm doing the clothes. He's going to be wearing a vest. So I drew a line down. Where is it? There. There it is. Over here. Okay. I drew a line down, curved it, and now I'm going around the whole bottom of the gourd. Because this board is so squatty and we need room for the arms, I'm taking the vest way down low. Going around, getting closer to the other side, bringing that down and meeting it up. Now I'm going to pick it up high and check the height of it. One side is lower than the other, so I'm going to fix it. There we go. And we should erase any, any lines that don't belong. I'm going to just draw a line around the neck. This is where the top of the scarf is going to be. But we're not going to worry about it. We just want to make sure we don't paint over it with the color of the vest. Okay, again, not right, okay. All right, I'm leaving an opening here in the middle for buttons and whatever might come up that I might want to add. All right, now, okay. 
the design is all drawn on. There's not much to it, just the vest. Oh, and I have to get some arms on this. I made a template for the arm. And I'm going to kind of eye the halfway point here, halfway to the back. It's like 45 degrees. And I'm putting the shoulder right there at that point. And I have the template set in place. And now I'm going to draw around it. There it goes, slipping. Okay. All right. If there's any little spots that are sticking out, where you overran an area or something, you erase it. Okay, there's one arm. Okay, now I'm going to do the other. Try to place it the same distance from the edge of the of the uh, what is it? The vest. I'm going to. Put a little mark on a toothpick here. Put it over here. And place it on here. I think I can get the top part here okay without marking it. Let's see. Yep, I think that's okay. All right, now again, I'm going to push this this lead out a little farther so it can go around where the template comes up without me having to push it down too much. Okay, around we go. Okay, there we have it. Erase any marks out that you don't want in there, because you'll, the red will show it and the white will look bad if it's got marks in it. We're going to probably have to put another coat of white on any of the white that's not being covered. All right, the arms are in. A little eraser marks here, but we're going to have to paint over the white again. One more coat. The head, the arms, in the middle and the bottom. I'm going to do that first. The reason I'm going to do the white first is because I'm going to go, I'm just going to paint and I'm going to go right over the graphite marks. And we're not going to have to worry about them spreading around. Let's see if I can find a brush that I like. Not that one. Okay. I'm going to do the arms first, I think. Just, you know, go, oh, this is, uh, this is light buttermilk now instead of the white. That's okay, though. It'll have a richer look that way. Since we're doing all of it, it doesn't matter. Okay, now I'm going to paint the vest red, Santa red.
The vest is all painted. It's a big job, but it's done. I have to wait for it to dry so that I can handle it while I'm lining it. I put the nose in just to see where the scarf should be. And I'm thinking there can't be a scarf. His face is too short. So I'm, I knocked off the points of these of the vest up here and I'm rounded them off and I'm going to maybe make a fuzzy edge of it or I haven't really decided yet but I know that in order to put a mouth in we can't have a scarf. So I'm going to line some things here while I'm contemplating the neck and everything. So I'm going to line the arms. <clears throat> okay, it's all lined. I need to touch up along the white. Here and there. Not too bad though. I'm shading around the entire vest and around the arms with black. I'm going to trim this entire vest with holly leaves and gold dots. I'm going to put a group of two, and then a gold dot, another group of two, and a gold dot. So, and I've, I, I completed this one. I'm going to put lines. I'm going to line all of the, of the holly leaves as well. working on the hat. I cut out some uh, holly leaves out of felt and some red circles and I glued them on the front. I got two more sets I'm going to put around so there'll be three sets. See I cut these out of uh, stiff felt. I had to you know, bend them a little bit so they'll go around the hat. And I also cut some uh, little circles. Now some of these little circles, I'm going to make them gold. Painting them right now. So they can go in between the hollies on the on the hat. Now <clears throat> you need to use glue. White glue is good. You can use fabric glue if you want. But if you use white glue, put enough on and don't mess with it after. Just <clears throat> leave it there. Let's see what we have here. Now I'm going to put this one, this set on over here. putting quite a bit on. See? And set it in. Try not to get any glue on the hat band because it uh, makes a mess. It doesn't come off. This is 
the second set. Okay, I put all the felt leaves on and the berries and I painted some red berries. I painted them gold so that they match the design on the uh, snowman's vest. So now we'll just leave this alone and let it dry while I finish the, uh, while I finish the snowman. Okay, there you go over the holly leaves, second coated them, I put the gold dots in between each one, and now I have to line the holly leaves before I put the berries on. It'll be a big job, but it'll be worth it when it's done. Okay, I have all of the holly leaves lined. I have a couple more dip dots to do for the gold to show you. Just, where are they? Over here on this side. All right, so that's all done. Now I have to put the berries on these. I'm going to use this liner brush to make small berries. Okay. The snowman. All the berries are on, all the gold dots, everything's aligned, and it's time to do the face. I'm going to blush the cheeks. I'm going to use a pink eyeshadow for that.
just going to do all dip dots for the eyes and the mouth. I'm not going to do any fancy eyes for this. I'm also going to put the nose in. Not glue it yet though. So I can see where to place the eyes. I'm going to use this. This is a calligraphy pen. It's got a nice flat end on it. And I've used it before on big things and I liked it. So I'm going to do it again. One eye. There you go, two eyes. I think they're slightly crooked, but that's okay. It'll be charming. Now, with this dip dotter here, which is my largest of these, I think it's the largest. Yes. This is the largest of my scruffy old handles that I use for dip dotting. And I'm going to do the mouth with this. Half done. I'm going to use the pencil for the uh, buttons. This is the eraser that's never been used to erase anything. There we go. Oh, that looks good. Okay. I goofed up this mouth here, so I have to paint over it. And While that's drying, I'm going to do the eyebrows and the eyelashes. show you this in just a second. Now the eyelashes. Make your paint thin. Touch down gently. Do three really thin eyelashes. I gotta turn this over so I can do this side. I'm going to put a little twinkle in the eyes. I think it's dry enough or not, I don't know. Yeah. Okay, the twinkles in the eyes. 
I'm going to try again with the, with the mouth. This time I'm going to look at it while I'm doing it instead of trying to let you look at it. There we go. The mouth is done. I'm going to get some gold paint and put a little gold, little bit of magic in his fingers, his hands. Not really magic, but. Okay, I have some gold and I'm thinning it out. I'm going to make a, one of those snowflakes, except for it's going to be gold instead of, so you can see it when I cross onto his hand. Okay, now. Okay. Where is it? There it is. Straight up and down, make sure you can see it. Sometimes the gold spreads a little thin. Now we're going to go across like a plus sign, right at where the sparkle hits the edge of the hand. I might go over it again when it's dry so that you can really see it. It's hard to see right now. Now we'll do an asterisk with the two other lines. Now I'm going to put the dots on it, the dip dots. Dot in the center. Now I'm going to go around. Put some extra ones on. <clears throat> the two that cross over that are make the plus sign. I'm gonna put an extra twinkle on each one of those. Okay. Okay. And now I'm gonna put a twinkle in between each one. I don't know where we're here. Okay. 
I hope they look all right. Okay, there you go. I think it looks all right. Let's see. Okay. This is okay, now I'm going to glue the nose while I'm waiting. I'm going to put some glue in the, oops, in the nose. Okay, now if you've put a little curb on it, make sure it's tipped up. I am going to paint the stem, even though he's going to have a hat on, just in case the hat ever falls off and gets squashed or something. It'll be a finished look up here. I'm going to put some uh, little dots, buttonholes on the button. Let's see what color. I think I'll use gold. Okay. I'm using a toothpick to put some buttonholes in the buttons. He's such a fancy guy that he should be adorned properly, so. Okay, buttons are done. You check the eyes, see if they're okay. Yeah, they're okay. What's this? little spot here with this black on it. I'm going to touch it with the toothpick. Alrighty, now I have the hat made and I'm going to put it on him. Okay, where did it go? Here's the hat. I'm not going to glue it yet because I have to shine him up a little. Let's get this right smack in the front. There we go. I made it so the holly leaves and berries matched around the uh, matched around the hat. There you go. The hat will fit on better once it's glued. It'll press down just a little and, and be good. But there you go. There is our gentleman snowman. I'm just checking him out in the picture here. He looks beautiful. Fancy pants, gentleman snowman. 
on a squatty fat bottle gourd. Thank you very much for watching my video. Please subscribe to my channel and click on the bell so that you are notified of future videos. Thank you. Thank you so much for your interest in my gourds.